Hello and welcome, I'm Nafo42 and in this video I'm just going to talk about TrueNAS Scale 2108. Okay, so you can see TrueNAS Scale has started off with actually updating the screen here in the pre-login. So we'll just log in um, and as you can see we're running TrueNAS Scale 2108 Beta 1. This is currently the latest version, uh, it's been up for 16 days. I think I got it maybe the day after it came out, or the day it came out, one or the other. So I've had plenty of time to test this, and it is actually, it's doing pretty good. It comes with a update to the storage. Uh, so if you're using the old pools, it will ask you if you want to update to the new pools. You, uh, I don't think it's too intrusive, that update actually. So if you go to storage here, um, when it loads, uh, it will say up here, update available or something and then you'll be able to update the pool either through here or through this menu one of those two menus i can't remember which one it was um but yeah that is um that is what happened there um other than that uh it seems more stable it seems much more stable so my computer is always running fairly hot you know 76 70 70 odd degrees apparently um and that is pretty high for what this is. I'll probably switch to a bit more of a, a slightly higher performance computer later on with which I can boost the RAM. It might even be rack mounted at some point as well, uh, just to keep it all neat, neat and tidy. Uh, and yeah, that'd be great, really. That's probably one of the long-term hopes for this thing. Um, if I can get like a couple of different um, uh, servers up, um, or a couple of different virtualized servers up then I can host multiple different websites and even potentially sell space on servers I'm not sure if I want to go down that route just yet especially not from home but um, we'll see how that goes in the long run um, so yeah just to go through a couple of things on here the SMB shares have been uh, I think they've been updated because they do seem to be a lot more solid now they seem to be a lot more uh, reliable under data protection it shows your scrub task which happens on sundays uh, midnight um, network there's not really any major updates here as far as i can tell open vpn i think has been put in not entirely sure uh, if there's any major updates um, I'd like to add a couple of sub IP addresses that you can use in different applications so you can take the uh, true uh, next cloud yeah next cloud and put that onto a different server I'm not entirely sure on how to do that so if anyone does know how to do that can, if you can let me know in the comment section below that would be great so we go to virtualization I don't have any virtual machines on here I don't think I could run a virtual machine on here because obviously got like under 800 megabytes in available memory which I could probably run a very small Linux machine on there or something like that um, but it's just not really enough to do anything other than that I've got apps uh, I have the added catalog so I've got the community catalog here um, I think I've done a video on that uh, if you want to add a catalog I'm just going to manage catalogs over here and then add this catalog with charts and stable. There's fairly periodic updates to Nextcloud. Um, I've had some good and bad experiences with Nextcloud. Um, I messed up one of the configurations for it once, but the update for it came out, it seems to be like every four or so days. So if, if you do mess up a configuration on it, just wait four days and hopefully there'll be an update for it and you can just update it or upgrade it as it says on here, and you'll be back up and running again. That's, that's what I did, and it, it kind of worked out for me. That's really lucky because I don't want to have to transfer some settings across as well uh, every time, which does get a bit annoying. CPU usage, so yeah, it has good reporting now. I can't remember if it had this last time. I don't think it did. Uh, system settings, you've got update, general, boot. Uh, under boot, you can see, you should be able to see all the previous ones. I've had of this. Um, yeah, here we go. We've got alpha, beta 06, beta 08. Um, uh, and it doesn't have the nightlies because I got rid of all the nightlies. Um, 
which is good because I was updating it all the time. Uh, now I'm updating it once every two months. Uh, it does allow for a more consistent uh, working environment, um, which is nice because this is literally just a storage server at the end of the day with a couple of extra bits added on uh, service. Yeah, you can see all the services. You know what that is. Uh, and then you can get the shell. So there's not really much uh, that has been added. Um, there's been quite a bit in the way of stabilization this time. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's looking a lot better. There's um, a couple of bits that I did add in the background, which is the engine Nginx server. Um, I added uh, a couple of little bits here. What was it? Home Assistant. I've added Jellyfin. I've added Qubit Torrent. Um, and yeah, that's it. I did try to do a next cloud that way as well, but it did not work out for me. Um, I think mostly because I had the one that was here already and I didn't want to delete this one, but I also wanted to kind of separate it through the post grease uh, post post grease school um was it database um it just didn't it just did not work out for me but that's fine um from what i do have i'm pretty happy with it i would like to be able to put uh, ssh onto uh, next cloud at the moment it seems to be not possible I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do it uh, and there's not really much in the way of uh, documentation for that just yet but I will um, yeah I mean I'm hoping that once there is I'll be able to do that when I move I'll have a bigger internet speed which will be very useful uh, for doing all sorts of different stuff like this like hosting and, and things like that it will go from around about 10 megabit upload which I think we have here it's about 10 to 10 to 12 or something like that to about 70 upload which is you know it's still not the best you can get but it is literally the best i can get without paying crazy money um <laughs> so uh yeah and, and like 360 download or something like that which is pretty nuts but that is about it for this uh video next video that I do I could potentially be in a new house I've probably I may have said that the last couple of times but um, you'll know this by that time the next video comes out so I'm hoping that we'll be in the new house by the next video if not then I guess the video after that we should definitely be in the new house and uh, yeah I'll be settling in getting loads of cool stuff built up uh, modifying the home network um, and then also getting back down to the nitty-gritty of working on my own projects like the um, the wall-mounted um, digital calendar the um, the front door light which I may or may not use because we do have a nice light out the front I might just remove the uh, RGB on it and just have that light there and potentially maybe stick an RGB bulb in there or something like that I'm not sure and the robot dog, which is a project that I've been working on in the background for a little bit. I've had to put on a little bit of a standby. Um, I might do some more stuff with RGB because I've got like a big wheel of it now. Uh, and yeah, it's quite fun to work with. I've got a bed light as well that's going to be coming out at some point soon. I've not done too much um, in the way of recording or anything like that for it so far or at all. But um, yeah, I'll probably just do an after video once that one is actually ready. But that is it for this time. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't think one is just at the trigger too. And thank you for watching.